Welcome back to Let's Play Far Cry 3. I'm Burning Dog Face. And last time I mostly just yammered to myself about the other game being way different from this one. This one already looks much, much deeper. I think I like that. You now I was thinking, oh, I experienced this in the wrong order, you know, uh... Don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. But it looks like a uh, blood dragon is just a taste of what this game offers. I wonder if I could find a car. Eh, three hundred meters. Feels kind of weird to be hunting pigs with a submachine gun. Ah, uh, it's not a lot of bullets. How do I change the gun I have equipped? What? Oh, wow! Fuck, I don't know. Uh, maybe I can only do it from stores. That's a bummer. I don't know what that was. Let's loop around. Oh, it's some kind of cow. Hello? I know I'm uh, late to the party on this game. It came out in 2012, and not only has uh, the next Far Cry game come out since then, uh, what? Is there a cave or something? What are that treasure? Don't you tempt me, map. Whatever. Uh... Bring back plants and animals. Which ones? Kill and skin two boars and collect the three types of plants in the hunting ground. Awesome. Screwpine. Screwpine is commonly used with a rakiat to weave mats and make other uh, other handicrafts. You can also use it to add fragrance and flavor fla fragrance and flavor to many local dishes. However, the plant itself is inedible. Se uh, Screwpine seeds are buoyant and can be transported for miles with the ocean currents. Kind of like refugees. This guy is kind of an asshole. I bet he'd vote for Trump. No, no, let's not get topical. Uh, tor Torch Ginger. Torch Ginger goes incredibly well with fish. There are a dozen recipes on Rook Island alone that incorporate local fish and Torch Ginger. But be careful, sometimes it can spontaneously ignite in your mouth, killing you instantly. The taste is worth it, though. I disagree. An extra one there. I am genuinely surprised that didn't work. Oh, that was a poor choice on my part. Hey, in my defense, it, okay, fine, that was kind of tall. Oh. That's handy. I didn't know I had a flashlight. Oh, I do remember something. Uh, in Blood Dragon, there were... There were two different reloading animations for most of the weapons. 
one for if you you know, just reloaded it yourself, and one for if you emptied the clip. Is that just background music? No, it's in that house, I see. Oh, it's probably coming from that house. Hmm. Oh, I like that. My eyes are just to the light. Sub. Yes. All right. You can do this. Boar. Hope you aren't kosher because boar is the primary food source on Rock Island. I've got you. Ew, bullet wound and everything. Oh God. Man, all Rex did was kneel down and, like, sort of swipe at them with his hand. Like I said, you know, looting people was messier than that, because he'd fucking rip their hearts out of their chests. Don't worry, they were blue and had blue blood. You know, it also occurs to me that, uh... Everyone... All the bad guys in, uh, Blood Dragon were robots, or androids, or... Uh, sorry, robots or cyborgs or something. Like, you could see a few of them that were really fucked up lying around the map. And they, uh, had, like, Terminator skulls under their helmets. But, uh... These guys are actual people. With feelings and shit. My apologies, friend. May your respawn be glorious. Oh, hey. That's a thing. I wonder if that works like in the other game. I mean, I doubt it, but... Shit! It does! track him through walls and everything. I figured that only worked because I was a cyborg last time. Don't worry, if I know video games, we'll be back in a few minutes. Ugh. I'll get used to it. I'll get... Oh, I get it. Blue leaves, because they're underwater. Oh man, I know for a fact there are sharks in this game. Ah, awesome, I do have this. Oh, that was a predator. Oh fuck, I can't see shit. Oh, right, I probably can't breathe underwater this time, either. Damn it, Rex, spoiling me for all the other guys! <laughs> uh... Oh, it's this stuff. I know it isn't, it's that stuff. Ah, oh, fuck. Breeze Wakane! Uh, wakame. Breeze wakame is the rocky yacht equivalent of spinach, and while it's very healthy, it's not especially flavorful. But you just know those New Age smoothie commies will try to sell it to you. My advice? Shoot to kill. What? This guy is whacked, man! I guess if they're ordering me to do it, I might as well. No, I'm going to set my waypoint over here first. 
Yeah, that's still a fair distance, so that, you know, fast travel would be justified. At least as justified as over here. Ah, at least it's a gorgeous day. I mean, you know, my brother bled out in my arms while a crazy person yelled at me. So I'm almost certainly got PTSD, but you know, whatever. Take the hand you're dealt. Just beam into some guy's house. Ah, uh, 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 that's silly. They really do have fucking gun vending machines in the main game. Sup? Any I didn't use C4 or a grenade. What's up with that? Ripped teddy bear. An old teddy bear, eye missing, and a musty smell. Uh, stuffing is visible between the stitches. A worn, ripped label a bear, names the bear Bobby. I wonder if that's Bobo. I wonder if that's like the reference to the Mr. Burns' teddy bear from The Simpsons. A white poker chip worth ten dollar e dues, even though someone tried to scratch an extra zero in the end. Bronze Pendant. Bronze working started in the, in the Shia dynasty. Maybe that little fact will get you a few more bucks for this when you sell this. Nope! Get those radio towers online. If you don't, I can't get new stock in from the remote villages. And trust me, ah, they got some top-notch gear you're gonna want. I was out hunting this morning, got... Piss. I can customize uh, this one too. Whoa, that's not bad. Wait, what about health? Consumables. Oh, this kind of map! Well, I can't afford anything, so... Fuck! That's not good. Kakite. Uh, <laughs> you look skinny. You had me worried you'd forgotten how to cook. I'm actually really uh, hungry all of a sudden. Cousin. You know you're the only family I have that's worth a damn. Eat. Let's put some meat on those skinny bones. What the fuck am I... What am I doing? Right. Dennis. Huh! Kind of hoping I could pointlessly jump over the fence. Check it out! I got all these. Uh, I got all this stuff. I've got the plants and animals. Good. Then bend nature to your will. I will teach you. Awesome. What? Oh, use a man to craft some syringes. Crafting. Now use the plants you found. Craft two syringes. I am not going to inject myself with plants I pulled out of the ground. Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, hold Y to quickly heal two health bars. Learn new skills to improve its strength. The syringe cannot be assigned to a slot. 
good, Jason. You may even find more powerful plants out in the woods if you are lucky. Now, use the skins of the animals you killed to enlarge what you can carry. Crafting will allow you to carry more weapons, money, loot, and syringes. Loot rucksacks. Creating more loot items or crafting these rucksacks. Craft the smaller rucksacks to unlock the larger ones. Simple rucksack. Incre increase maximum loot capacity to 32 items. Yes. One last thing. The tattoo on your arm. It is a sign that you are special. That you have the soul of a warrior. You progressed along the path. Let me show you how to add to them. With each tattoo. A skill is mastered. Shit. You can choose to learn skills in three different areas. Now, I will teach you the takedown. There it is in... Oh, the heron, the shark, and the spider, of course. Ah, the heron. Long-range takedowns and mobility. The shark. Assault takedowns and healing. The spider. Stealth takedowns and survival. The shark. So I guess we'll start here then, uh, since he said, you know, do that. Oh! Oh, wow. Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, that seems familiar. Okay, I'll learn that then. Yeah. It is done as you become stronger. With each new skill you learn, the tatao will grow. Choose another. Take down. Approach an enemy and remain undetected. Press the right stick in when prompted to kill him. Awards three times the experience for each kill. Uh, sprint slide. Press B while sprinting to slide along the ground. That doesn't seem useful at all. Grenade cooking. Also not useful. That seems more useful. Uh, I guess I'll go with the power slide then. You have done well, Jason. Oh, the tatao. really? Hey, Felipe, we are driving to the outpost near Amanaki. We have one of the Americans. Go, have some fun. What the hell? No. Lisa. Oh, shit. We have to get her back. Come, follow. Fuck yeah. It's action time. Let's rock! Technical. The technical is an improve is an improvised fighting vehicle. That's just a fancy term for a pickup truck and a machine gun mounted on it, or as I like to call it, a Texan parade float. All the technicals in Rook Island belong to Vaz's pirates. They offer plenty of firepower, but no real armor protection. What's this outpost they've taken Lisa to? The outposts are strongholds found throughout Rock Island. Vaz's pirates hold them to control the surrounding area. So we're heading into a fight? Yes, a worthwhile one. Rescuing your friend will kill two pigs with one stone. We are at war with Vaz. Taking outposts from the pirates is key to reclaiming the island. We conquer one for Iraqia, the area becomes safer. This means faster travel for everyone. New opportunities to develop your skills as a warrior. Who's in the truck? Rakiat warriors. The true Rakiat who live at the heart of the island. The Tatao will help them to trust you. My magic Look, tattoo. I appreciate your help, but I just want to save Lisa and my friends. My brother. This is the only way to get them back alive. You escaped the slave camp. You survived. It is time to fight. We are all equal, Jason. The difference lies in those who do not act. That is the difference. <sighs> all right, let's do this. Like you, I was once a stranger here. The Rakiat. The Rakiat have lived on Rook Island since the island's inception. Like the rocks and sand of the beaches, they are survivors, the keepers of secrets. Very few are allowed into their culture, and even less invited to join the ranks of their warriors. You are not alone, my friend. We will wait for you to begin the attack. Crafting notes. Progress with the story to unlock new recipes. Craft syringe recipes for temporary boosts. Craft equipment and ammo recipes to carry more items. Oh, I did get healed. Awesome. Jason, Dennis has given you the 
Now you must fight. Okay. You can attack them quickly. Pick them off from a distance. Or sneak in. It is your choice. Hold the left bumper to view weapons, use the right stick to select a weapon, and hit Y to switch to your previous weapon. I'll wait. Okay. Aw, oh, man! It's just about to get rad, too. I'm hoping that things pick up once we get past all this tutorializing. Hunting. Hey, 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 I will not- I don't know- I don't know that I like the sound of performance-enhancing drugs. Yes! Weapon holsters! Okay. So after this, I'm gonna go find- I'm gonna go find me a goat. More boars, okay, okay. Pistols, SMGs, shotguns, assault rifles, sniper rifles, and LMGs. Hmm. Arrow quivers, huh? Animals can be seen through their scent. Also, timid animals will not flee when approached. Interesting. Wallets, two thousand dollar dues. Fair enough. Mhm. Mm Lots of goats I'm gonna be needing to murder. Fuck yeah, flamethrower fuel sling. What? There are no skills I have uh, got available. Oh. Oh. Definitely going for this one next, I guess. Ooh, that seems actually seems kind of useful. But yes, I'm start going to start with uh, physical conditioning. Look at all of them, what? Actually, let me take a look at this. Well, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play uh, Far Cry 3. I was gonna say resistance for some reason. When we uh, do something really, really dangerous. Later!